sausage boys. Oh! Hey! Oh, is there one, two, one, two? My check, my check, my check. Yep. 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 All right, we in it. All right, we in it. We doing it. Yo. Sausage boys, this is it. Hey. The Sausage boys podcast. Uh, g'day guys, it's your host Jackson. Wait bro bro, I think you need to turn it up a, a bit. Turn it, like up a bit. turn it up a bit, turn it up a bit, turn it up a bit. Say some shit. Say some shit. Alright, alright, alright. All they hearing right, you right. bro, you're coming uh, through. And of course, uh, that, that you hear right there, questioning my audio technical abilities is, uh, is uh, your boy Big Boo. Yes sir, yes sir. How are you Big Boo? I'm very good, how are you boys? I'm good, I'm good all the time. You you Keeping it crispy it that, is yeah. uh, obviously our boy. Yeah, it's, it's our boy Pimple. Hey. <laughs> Wait, I don't think K Dot is coming through. Is K Dot? Are you coming through, number three? Am I coming through? Beep, you coming through? Beep, beep. This is K Dot, right? Oop, oop. I think this K Dot. Yeah, he's coming through. He's coming through. Yo. Don't yeah. worry about it, guys. Right. He's coming through. Everyone's coming through. Yeah, right, so this go. is the callback episode to last week's where um. Yeah, Big was a bit out of it talking about how he was bullied. Yeah, I uh, I was uh, we bullied raped. Big. I was raped. Gosh, really? I yes. guess that's a form of bullying by Michael Jackson. This <laughs> is <rapeable laughs> <Michael bullying. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> What if this is classified as bullying? Mama got bullied today. Is that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Big. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, uh, but uh, boys will be boys. Yeah, boys will be boys. I guess. Yeah. Um, Michael Jackson, huh? Uh. Sausage boys will be sausage boys. Sausage boys will be sausage boys. Man, um, off to a good start. No, big. Were you were you ever bullied? Well, he was raped. Um, yeah, yeah, I was raped by uh, Michael Jackson, uh, kid, McCulkin. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. Just off pod before we started. Um, Big actually said that I'll look like Macaulay Culkin <laughs> if I stop taking care of myself in <laughs> X amount of years. He's forty now. I think I think give it like forty what? four zero. Two years. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you twitching as you're about to say something. I was not expecting two years. Um, even you know when you hear something and it kind of hits a bit too close to home, you try and play it <laughs> off like it's like, like yeah, yeah, that's funny. I probably would look like him. <laughs> I legitimately yeah, yeah. would look like Macaulay Culkin. I legitimately would. So he's forty years old. Yeah. He's forty years old. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, he put it on Twitter like, yeah, I'm forty now. I'm like, who gives a fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, commenting that. <laughs> yeah. What he said was, "Want to feel old? I'm forty years old." Dang. Well, I just, I didn't feel anything. I kind of felt it because I mean, even though I was watching those movies as a kid. Did you watch Home Alone? Yeah, of course. What was that? Nineties or two thousands? I think it was two thousand. I think it was it was two thousand. I think he got the Richie Rich back in like the. It could 90s. have been two thousand because he's forty now. You know what I mean? Oh, like so it would 10, have been what, like ten, twelve when so he did those. So it must be nineteen ninety. No, but the, but but it it was like a trilogy, right? He had he had. Uh, yeah, there were a few. A sequel, like, what, yeah. three Home Alones. Yeah, I think it was three Home Alones. Mm. So I think like two th- two thousand four. Two thousand four, maybe the last one. It would have been yeah. twenty four. <laughs> At the time of recording, <laughs> it was 2004. Wait, wait, so wh- when was he born? So he's 40 now. He was born in 1980. <laughs> it was shot in the 1990s. <laughs> <laughs> so Macaulay, Macaulay Culkin's 24 when he shot those movies. Yeah, actually, yeah. He's got a young face, doesn't he? Gosh. Yeah, and then right off that crack, poof, and then he looked like 40 now. What a man. Yeah. What a man. Macaulay. Have we yeah. been home alone before? Does antics actually happen like that? Most of the time, it's just watching Ready, Steady, Cook and masturbating. Imagine if that was the new Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> Modern day Home Alone. <laughs> Australian Home Alone. No, Australian TV, do you remember when you had a sick day? Oh, yes. It was the Ready, Steady, Cook, wasn't it? Ready, Steady, Cook, Ellen. Oh, Ellen. Oh, classic. 
Ellen dancing, abusing her. Um, what are they? What's up with this guy? What is Ellen? Is she an energy vampire? Does she like get energy from her staff, her underage staff that she abuses, and then she's doing something right? She's on. I think all the time, every single day. She's on fire, bro. She's on fire. She's being funny. <laughs> she's being energetic. She's dancing all the time. She's doing something right. I think the biggest conspiracy is that Ellen um, keeps her youth and her energy from drinking children's blood. Ah. I think that's one of the biggest conspiracy theories out there. I think that's what Michael Jackson did. He, he had mean, the kid's blood. Yeah, he, he, he sucked the blood out of Makoka. That's why he, he looked the way he does now. Gosh, what if there's, some, what if there's something to it? Yeah, Could bro, it be done Michael, whatever Michael was doing, he was not looking good. Yeah. He was not looking good about 30 years into it. That's I don't know. True. When was Thriller released? Because that's the last time I saw a good photo of. I think then it went like, downhill from there. Yeah. I think Thriller was like 80s, huh? Like the end of 80s, I think. It was like 90, 91. Hmm. Maximum. Was probably the 80s. So, yeah. I think, yeah, Thriller was back in the 80s. Because what about the rest of the, um, the actors in the music video? They weren't looking too good either. In that thriller music video. They weren't looking good. No, yeah. I hear they were malnourished. Malnourished? Malnourished. Who? I think they were just overworked. Who? Michael. Ah. Oh. MJ. You seen that thriller video? Yeah. Yeah. Like, he was even looking pretty bad in that, wasn't he? He was on steady. It, yeah, climb. even towards the end, like it shows him kind of get progressively worse. Like he's almost aging as the video's going on. They shot that vo- video over like five years. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Was it like prescribed drugs? Is that what happened to Michael? I think I think it was I think it was um was it sleep medication ah. to help him sleep at night? No, I think I think, <laughs> I think it was something to. I wonder to why he had trouble sleeping at night. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's tired from dancing and performing and being a great entertainer. <laughs> you think he'd be able to sleep like a baby? <laughs> I think he'd be able but to sleep like a nine-year-old. With- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, imagine well, imagine if that was just a thing, like just sleeping with a whole bunch of kids. Is there anything wrong with that? Is there anything wrong with sleeping with children? Like sleeping in your room? Sleeping, nothing else. You're just asleep with children in your 40-year-old. I don't think with that, but it's never just... You could never... You know what I mean? People are looking at that going like, people are people, you know what I mean? Like he's going to do something weird. But what if he's the one guy that's actually cool? He's like, no, I'm just a kid. I'm just like these guys. I have no sexual urges. I just like ch- sleeping with children. It's like a sleepover party. Hmm. And if it was completely innocent, would you be okay with your kid going over to Michael Jackson's place? I would never he be knew okay. It was with, fine. I would never be okay with my kid staying in a grown person's <laughs> house, even if there was nothing wrong with that grown person. Jesus, man, no, I don't think so. Because you'd never know, would you? Yeah. I mean, look, I see, I see some FBI agent out there already. So we, oh, oh, we yeah. better wrap this up. We're sponsored by cigarettes. Hey, um, uh, 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 you're on the floor. I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor. Good <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Yeah, actually, you know, you know what? Some, um, some. This is so funny. It keeps playing through my head. And, uh, I mean, I was going to say it off pod. Yeah. But it's this is hilarious. Karim always does this thing to me where he kind of like, he'll say something and it'll, it'll slow burn over the course of like six months. And then it's just etched into my, into my psyche kind of. And, uh, I was watching, um, Curb Your Enthusiasm, the Larry Ooh. David show. Yeah. And, um, uh, Karim said to me, it's funny watching Curb because you slowly become more like Larry David the more you watch it. Yeah. Yeah. You remember saying that? Yes. And um, So you started watching the Michael Jackson documentary. <laughs> I started having kids in my room. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong. I'm just sleeping with children. Six months later. Uh, yeah. So like that Larry David thing. And then um, I was like, oh, I'm not really feeling... I feel like Larry David is very cynical. I'm not... I'm not necessarily a cynical person, but... Any- but you become more cynical. You're finding yourself to be more cynical watching Maybe cynical's it. not the right word, but I'll, I'll let you be the judge. So here's the, here's the story. What yeah. happened was I went um, clothes shopping and I was walking around Newtown and um, going through just store to store and I had these over-ear headphones on and I was um, listening to another podcast. Um, not Sausage Boys. That'd be narcissistic. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely uh, wasn't listening nah, to Sausage uh, Boys oh, yeah. episode three. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely wasn't. <laughs> definitely. Um, uh, so the, the hilarious, let's say this hilarious podcast with three boys about hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, so I was walking around these stores. Some girl over here is just like, are you listening to yourself? (laughs) 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 Is that you? (laughs) Is that your voice in those headphones? Uh, Sidebar, I do that way too often. And actually one of my friends called me out for that in high school because at the time I was listening to a song that I've written. And I was like, you listen back to, you guys know, you listen back to your own shit because you're trying to work out if it works in a context, if it works through those speakers, rah, rah, rah. Of course. But those songs were released two years ago. So, <laughs> don't know why you're really listening to this and nodding your head and be like, damn, he gets it. I just need it this for dude like, rocks. I just need it for like validation. I'm like, yeah, I can do cool stuff. I was watching- <laughs> what would you do if Big was just listening to Ronan? Like, <laughs> oh, I, just, I swear to God, Big does. Oh, <laughs> big goes, big goes, I, listen, I listen to my own shit in the gym to get me pumped up. <laughs> Actually, man, that, that, that's the only way that I can... Pleasure myself nowadays. <laughs> Your girlfriend's in the next room, like, are you coming to bed, <laughs> honey? Yeah, just a like, second. Just they don't a like sec. that. They don't like that. They don't like that. So I was walking around, I was listening to headphones, listening to sus- I was listening to a so, podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah. And um You know how there's always those people in the in the clothing stores, especially, and they come up to you and they Yo, what's up, hey. big man? Yo, big man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, need any help? <laughs> like, let's go these like dead eyes. <laughs> Can I help you with anything? You know that? And, and especially like, they've always got like good looking girls working in those stores trying to flog shit to you. Yeah. Overpriced t-shirts. It's like 70 bucks for a t-shirt, but she's hot. So you're like, yeah. well, I'll get two. It's <laughs> <laughs> so right if I try them on, you just come out of the change room nude all the time. Oh, wait, wait. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I misread the situation. <laughs> Man. So I'm in there and uh, oh, go on, big. No, no, just go on. Just go on. I'll say, just say, man. No, no, I'll go on. Um, so I was in the change room and um, Macaulay Culkin walked in. <laughs> <laughs> I look in the mirror and I get really sad because I see Macaulay Culkin. Looking back at me. Uh, look in the mirror at home. Look like Macaulay Culkin. Colkin, my roommate's not home. <laughs> Actually, like, I end up putting marbles at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, Actually, man, when I see my Colkin walked in, I'm like, man, it's gonna, it's gonna be a hee hee today. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of hee hee today. <laughs> Do you think anyone's ever killed themselves purposely by putting marbles at the top of the steps? There's enough people. Hey, I reckon someone <laughs> probably has. I mean, people have died in every dumb way. Yeah, uh, so you're exposing yourself to this innocent girl in the clothes shop. And she's saying, hey, Macaulay Culkin, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I love you growing up. <laughs> um, and then I'm like, hey, I'm not Macaulay Culkin, so I'm walking home listening to my own music <laughs> so I can look at myself again and not... No, so I'm in there, and um, they're coming up, and uh, here's my Larry David thing. So I've got mm. my headphones on, and I'm yep. listening to this thing, and they come up, and uh, Yo, generally, big man, what you bumping? <laughs> <laughs> you bumping that new Magnus Stallion? <laughs> wap, wap, wap. <laughs> like, it doesn't even go like that. Extended version. I love that shit. Bum, 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 bum. You look like you play guitar, man. Ah, bum, bum, Oh, yeah, man. I fucking love Cle- Creedence Clearwater Revival. <laughs> So I'm walking around in there, um, like an attractive woman walks up. She's just going blah, 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 blah. So you cheated here's, on your girlfriend with her <laughs> Here's Here's the... T- <laughs> <You're shut up. laughs> oh, uh, um, so walk up. And, he cheated uh, on you. Normally normally what I do is I just get a thumb and like flick my headphone back a little bit over mm. my ear. I'll do that at any time, bro. If someone asks me for money, someone asks me... You know what I mean? Anything. Yeah. You, anything keep, you keep the one side in. So there's only keep, one exposed. Keep the one side on. And yeah, and it's just like, you should see by that visual kind of language that I don't want that. Mm. I didn't even think about it. They walked up. They said something. I didn't even hear them over the volume of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the laughter. <laughs> we did that live studio one. And it was this enormous No, so laughter. what I did was, you know, when you... Well, I mean, I didn't realize it at the time, but in hindsight, it's probably like, hello. Like, you know, when you have headphones on and you're just really loud. So I just did that and then turned back to the rack, left the headphone on, and it worked. They left. So it's- she thinks you're this autistic guy. He's like, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Screaming hello. Like, I didn't know Macaulay Culkin was autistic. 
<laughs> man, I think MJ may have actually done it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's a thing, dude. There's a thing. I learned. I went into about four or five stores so that you day. You start becoming autistic. <laughs> <laughs> this is your realization. I just left the headphones on and no one could bother me at all. You, you, said, you said hello really loudly to this girl. I said hello. In hindsight, I think it was a little bit too loud. <laughs> what if you just turn around? You don't even need headphones for this tip, guys. You just turn around and you go, mm, penis. <laughs> <laughs> you just let, yeah, you let it go, and I didn't get bothered that whole day because of that. You just keep the headphones on. Keep the headphones on. Keep looking at the rack. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not talking about the clothes. <laughs> so, so she calls her manager and um, escorts me out of the <laughs> shop. Yeah, I didn't buy anything and that's the reason. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to court tomorrow. So um, this is going to be maybe the last episode of The Sausage Boys. So what happens? You just order out and scream hello with your headphones on. She doesn't yeah. bother you anymore. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was sweet. I just yelled at <laughs> I just I just yelled at this sixteen year old girl trying to make ends meet. She gets paid on commission. <laughs> yeah, like Larry David, completely. <laughs> <laughs> it's and I was just like, wow, man. I've just like vicariously become a little bit Larry David just to write him out. Larry David's autistic, right? <laughs> yeah, right, right. He does something like that. Huh? Huh? Uh, Kate, okay, you and I were actually speaking the other day about like the potential of actually being autistic. Yes. Because I'm pretty sure I'm on the autism spectrum. Is it, anyone, if anyone if you have to put a percentage on it. Oh man, I'm nicely on there. Uh, <laughs> you fit snugly. I'm on, I'm, I'm not like completely on. Like I, I've got a nice grip. I think I've got a nice grip on the autism spectrum. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if they had to cut the bottom 10%, you've still got your job? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've still got it. I'm probably, yeah, <laughs> in, in a good way, I'm probably around maybe 23% on. Mm. That's, that's, that's a good That's a nice yeah, amount. That's like 25 to, I, think, I say I'd be around that as well. You think I you're be, on there as well? Yeah, I think I'm around 25 sometimes when I, when I get really like... Well, I'm 26 uh, then. Oh, 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 I'm 27 uh, then. I'm 27. Oh, oh, well, oh, well oh, I'm 28 oh, then. Oh, you want to... I'm 29 oh, then. Um, how, how, how much are you big? I think I, and, um, honestly, I think I'm around thirty. Well, I was thirty-two. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this so guy, so uh, <laughs> this guy, uh, get a little this guy, uh. get a little this guy, <laughs> like a comedian, huh? He's actually just bugging out his autism. <laughs> can't deal with his <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I did kind of. I agreed with you. I kind of thought I was autistic. You know what I think I might be though. After I don't, I'm, I'm not autistic. I just really love trains. <laughs> <laughs> I really love trains and watching them. There's nothing wrong with that. And I just can't give eye contact. But, wait, wait, but what is autistic though? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm fucking not fucking idea, man. I know. I know that I am it, man. <laughs> Imagine all the parents with like autistic kids just crying listening to this podcast. Like it's not a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if no one actually even knows what it is. So yeah, we we actually have no idea. I legitimately couldn't tell you what it was. If I tried to, <clears throat> I know. I, I feel like I vibe with it, but I couldn't explain <laughs> it. I couldn't put it into words. It's more uh, of a vibe. It's more of a vibe than a than a uh, uh, you know mental. Man, actually, actually, man. Uh, I think I got a cousin who's a bit. I mean, he's was a lot. He's on the uh, spectrum. Yeah, he's he's on you know he's on the far end of the spectrum. Wow. Actually, I mean, we got this family. Reunion, bro. It was everybody there, and this kid just, just <laughs> came up to me like, "Hey, you big?" I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Okay," and he just walked penis? away. I'm like, "What the fuck? Who the fuck is this kid?" Maybe man? He hate, maybe he hates Asian. <laughs> I don't know. That was hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, Asian, like the fuck? But he was like, "Are hey, you, you big?" big right, and then runs away. Yeah, he's like, "Okay," and then he he walked away. I'm like, "What the fuck?" That was the weirdest thing ever. Damn. Was he doing it to everyone? No, he just do it. He did it to me because I I rarely came back home. Mm. So yeah, when I came back home, he just, he just looked straight at me. Man, he walked from the door straight to me. Like, hey, you're big, right? I'm like, uh, well, yeah. He's like, oh. <clears throat> and then he walked, walked away. Walked away. Man. Maybe like, he's just geez. one of those guys that can't masturbate until they put a face to the name. <laughs> <laughs> Big, 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 big. Ew, ew, ew. But um, yeah, the autism spectrum. I think it um, a lot of things fall under it. I think you've got ADHD. You have Asperger's. Wait. Um, OCD. 
um, if, if I had to pick, I think I'm OCD. And I, I think like pattern recognition is the biggest thing for me. And it's, uh, it's f- uh, so I was hanging out with a mate today and he, um, he uh, put his coffee cup down, lifted it up, drank some, put it down again. And it created a second ring Ooh. and they were kind of looping together. Yeah. And in my mind, I saw the Olympic <laughs> rings. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God! Someone send help. <laughs> if anyone's, if anyone's <laughs> listening no, to just, this, please send help. No, I, I, <laughs> my friends can't help because they're both autistic. Um, uh, so you no, saw the Olympic t- two I things, and it I saw the two things. Bit. He lifted it up, put the third one down, and it wasn't like the same oh, no. distance away the third time around, and that kind of bothered me in no, a way. I think, I think, man, everybody has some sort of OCD, you know, because because the thing is, uh, like, like it's logical. You know, I sure as hell don't. Yeah, what are you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> trying to say huh? You trying to simp me, dog? Because things like, man, if, if I tell you A, B, your brain have already think about C. You know, it's just it's just logical, and 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 you know, it, your brain will do that no matter what. I think it's it's, I think it's like a very severe case case of OCD. But I think everybody has some some sort of of OCD. So Everyone has like, a tiny bit, I guess. Yeah. There's that Facebook page, things that are unesthetic. Yeah. And it's like, you've got a Cadbury block of chocolate. You know, it comes in like however many pieces. And instead of breaking off a p- part, they've just bitten yeah. into the corner yeah. of it. That's unesthetic. Yeah. Maybe that's all it is. I just want a, a, a pretty kind of pattern. That's, yeah. I think this um, today's generation, I think we're becoming more autistic. Because I've, I've said in the past, <laughs> like I think, or being autistic is the next evolution of man. <laughs> no, it's this for everyone is, to this become is, have you heard this more autistic. No. This is great. It would just Great make theory. more sense because I guess <clears throat> someone with autism, they don't have uh, strong emotions. That's probably one of the biggest benefits of being autistic because you don't feel anything too strong. So let's say if your um, parents died, you would go to work the next day and someone would be like, oh, how was, how was your day yesterday? He's like, oh, yeah, my parents died. Um, yeah, but do you have the- those commissions. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. But you can just go on with your life. Mm. You don't really have any strong emotion. You're able to be more productive. And usually people with autism have uh, special special interests and are usually highly skilled in certain areas. Mm. Mm. But then we talk about that, but then you've got like this Reddit community that are all about My Little Pony and whatever. <sighs> that, like, is that, I don't even know if that falls under autism. I yeah, think that falls under creepiness. It? Yeah. I, I, or like something something happened no, you when they were have, young. You have to have, yeah, you have to have some some kind of defect. <laughs> No, mm. To think. be into that legitimately, <sighs> something must have happened. As maybe a kid. that's just so far out of my realm of possibility that that's what I have to kind of attribute it to. Man, I, I think, I, I think, man, like I think because human, you know, like so- society now is just too complicated. There's so many things, you know, like, and there's no one stopping you. There's, there's there's a clear line if you talk about the, the law, right? You kill somebody and it's wrong, but if you like furries, you like you know having sex while wearing. A costume. Yeah, it, it doesn't fall to anything. It's just weird. Yeah, it's know? just <laughs> it's just yeah. weird. It's not even necessarily autistic or anything. Yeah. It's just it kind of creepy. Cause any damage though? Yeah. Does it? Yeah, to... it doesn't mm. cause any damage. But just weird. People just just creep me out. You know. Mm. I think yeah, but it's, but it's not wrong. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being a furry. There's nothing wrong with being a brony. Yeah. It's just kind of strange. It's like yeah, that's a bit weird. But that's all yeah. it is. Yeah, it's literally not hurting anyone at all. But 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 we think it's weird. But there's a big community. They don't think it's weird. So really, I think they think it's a bit weird. I think they know it's weird. Really, I think they know it's weird. That's why it's like a subsect of um people that are like that. They know that it's a community. And that's why it is a community as well. It's not the mass. It's that little community. You know what I mean? And they're like, we are okay, abnormal. okay, okay, okay. So if if I, I'm not wrong. Being weird is 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 it's like being gay, thing. right? <laughs> hey. Is that what we're talking about? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> but like being weird is is lacking something that most people don't. You know, if you do something that is that is not common, that is weird. Yeah. But if you have a a, a big enough community, does as weird? You know, is I guess I guess it's anymore? kind of like the the gay rights movement. I think <laughs> in what the thirties or the twenties, being gay. Yeah. I guess socially in the Western world was considered really weird or you would go to jail mm. for it. Yep. Yeah. But then it became more and more acceptance. Like, hey, we just like this thing. Imagine like you go to jail for being gay and then there's <laughs> just all these gay guys in jail just having the time of their life. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they're just like they're just having the time of their life. Yeah. In there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Drop the soap. Drop the oh, soap. Oh no. Oops again. Oh, um, no. <laughs> and that's what all the those myths about dropping the soap is. It's just like, don't were... drop the soap. Oh Jerome, you tease. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because have you ever met a straight person that's going to jail? See, I think that Paul I've never met a straight that... person that's come out of jail. No, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, don't know. I was like, I backed out halfway through that, and I was just like, <laughs> do I really want to be talking shit about people that have come <laughs> out of jail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, man, furries. I, 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 personally, I think it's weird, but I don't think it's any wrong. You know what I mean? Do your thing. It, 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 it doesn't. Mm. It, it doesn't go against like like like, uh, uh what do you call it? Social Ethics. norms. Yeah, yeah, social norms. We just rent costume. You know, fucking. We have. Fucking it's just. A, it's just a kink. It's like someone who's yeah. doing a BDSM or something, and it goes to like BDSM expos to get whips and chains and um, the kink yeah. suits. Bro, if you if you if you go to like Germans and, and you look into like those stores, it's fucking weird. You know, fucking European are weird. They have. Uh, I saw a, a video, right? This this chick, she's spreading her leg and she put like four rings. I think I've on. seen the same. Video. <laughs> you talk about the yeah. Nazi symbol. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how the vi- how the rings? So um, she put a sign. Are they no, symmetrical no. or? Uh, no, no, no. There is a slight curve at the top, and they go around. <laughs> <and there's> <laughs> <a> <laughs> but like, but like, she put four rings on like the uh, side of her vagina, and you then can say it, and then and then <laughs> <clears throat> she zap it, right. and then she zap it. And then she's like getting off of it, and there's a dude as well putting like a oh, ring yes. on his cock. Oh Ooh, yes. oh yeah. yeah. What's the better Stop favorite Sam. Pokemon? Is Pikachu? I'm gonna say it right now. What's this? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, like those are weird as well. But you don't. So you don't she's zapping those. herself. Yeah, and then see a dude as well. Yeah, he was like a like a cock So this ring. dude, you, um. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, okay. he's, a, he's a friend of mine. Yeah. And it was with my fiance last night. And Ed. for some reason, I watched the whole video, and he's zapping himself, and you can see him coming as well. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, this is. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I've always thought that. I've always thought I never want to get that complicated. You know what I mean? Imagine like, if that's your thing and that's the only thing that gets you off. Like, people always make the joke where it's like, I, I listen to my music because that's the only thing that gets me off. But what if that was the case? Mm. And that's, I think, what it is most of the time. Like, at least with the furries, this is the thing that does it for them. And it's you like the what? Louis you know, C.K. Actually, bit where it's mm, like, there's mm. kids do it for me. I, I was watching this thing and it was like this compilation of kind of like furry videos and people talking about being a furry and furry culture and whatever. Uh, quite, yeah, was, we don't really care that much about furries. I don't know why you're doing all this. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk about it. <laughs> it's important. Uh, so I bought a, bought a furry outfit and it feels good. It was this furry person. They were talking about like furry culture and whatever. And they were saying, here's the weird thing. Like, I just want to dress up like this. And like, that's my identity and everything like that. It's, it's not about sexuality or anything like that. It's just a way of life. There is a subsect that have made it like that. And the interviewer was like, uh, so uh, you don't have sex in the furry costume? He's like, I have sex in the furry costume. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I do in it. Um. But that's beside the point. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> uh, There's the whole dog bowl thing as well. What's that? I don't know about that. Oh, part of like the furry community is they want to um, act like animals. And uh. usually they um, defecate and urinate in like a corner of a hotel room. Like, when they have the furry conventions, they have to have the room set up to accommodate being a furry. I guess they're not really causing any harm, are they? Yeah. It's just almost like an excess of freedom and liberty at that point. Like, I don't know. I don't know. They're not doing any harm. I'm sure they're contributing to the economy in various ways. Well, I mean, I found... I found way... Amount of time to watch their videos. (laughs) I mean... They're contributing a lot to... They're contributing to a certain (laughs) bank. (laughs) (laughs) But, like, I found way worse things on Pornhub. You know what I mean? There's, like, this video, right? Um, The fact uh, that you say found... (laughs) (laughs) I stumbled across, okay? And I watched all of it, and... So there's like this video, right? It's, you know, uh, cacao thing? (laughs) Oh, yes, cacao. What is it? (laughs) (laughs) I've never heard of that. So, yeah, there was. Can you tell Jackson about it while I'm in the corner and. uh, So, uh, yeah, basically, cacao, for anybody who, you know, don't know about this, cacao is is like enjoying seeing your wife being fucked by somebody else. And there was this this video, right? There was this 
this dude, he's filming his wife, you know, being fucked by another dude. And then... What ethnicity was the dude? <laughs> uh... Pff. I don't know. I've he may have been she, I, th- I think she was uh, was was a bit like uh, Russian, and he was uh, I don't know. I think he's like Armenian, so he has beard and stuff and stuff. But but, Wh- but three white people nah, in this cuckolding video. I don't think the I think the wife looked more like uh, what I say, I say it more like Uzbekistan, you know, more like yeah. black hair. So I don't I think she's right. But but the point is right. So when the other dude come in this jig right and she said to to her husband like hey don't worry uh i'll save some for you and then you see the next i think scene, i've seen this the video dude fucking lick the cum of a pussy i was just like what the Ooh. fuck i was like yeah bro that is way worse than furries i reckon that i think just- i've actually seen this video um <laughs> anyway wait is that is that gay uh, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, I wish you saw her in face. I wish you saw her in face. <laughs> yeah, well, if hey, it is, I've got a lot of explaining to do. Um, <laughs> is it? Is it? Over to the board, K dot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, would it be? Because it's technically a man and a woman, but another man's seed is involved. <laughs> I think it's just it falls under the category of uh, humiliation. And I think he yeah. gets off by being humiliated. I don't think it's necessarily gay, but it's just a kink. Oh, yeah, it just, yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. It's like the I'll, autism I'll, spectrum. I think there's the kink spectrum, and then there's the homosexuality spectrum. I'm not gay, but you know what? I just like intercourse with men. Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> and my husband. <laughs> but you know, have a great life together. I'm not gay, but my husband is. <laughs> But the worst part is... <laughs> <laughs> Does your boyfriend know you're gay? <laughs> Man, but Answer that question, both wait, of you. Wait, but Does your boyfriend know you're gay? The worst part is... I choked off that video because the wife was really hot. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I better just, you know, rewind it back a I'm bit. I'm going to look past all of this <laughs> and I'm just going to zone in on her. Ah, but yeah. <laughs> but um, 75% of that video was just <laughs> the two guys. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, but yeah, but that like like but there, man, like fur. If you think about that, fur is not that bad anymore. I'm like fuck, yeah, people, you know, have sex in, in a costume. So so fucking what? Yeah, yeah, it's just a kink. I think there's a lot of weird kinks out there. But yeah. then I, I kind of feel sorry for the woman in that scenario. Well, not sorry for. Maybe she's into it. Bro, she was into it. <laughs> <laughs> she was, bro. She was she was she was into it so much. She was laughing and mourning at the same time. She was like. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, oh, this is so good. <laughs> mm. yeah. Gosh, that is wild. And then, and then, and she's like, oh, and then he, he come in and like, oh, don't worry, baby, I'll, I'll save some for you. And then you can see at the end, the dude just like the cum of the pussy. I'm just like, Jesus He's fucking like, Christ. All done. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. But that's what gets him off. Yummy. That's what he's into. Fuck. Yummy. Just, uh. Yeah, it, 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 it sent chills down my spine, hey. But then there's scat porn, and then you've got severe BDSM, where it's just literally people getting beaten. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I also found an <laughs> <laughs> another video. Uh, uh, I also stumbled across. <laughs> it's called, uh, I think they called it titty torturing. They were just, mm. just like twisting titties as hard as, as, as he can. That is so... Intense to yeah, look at. Yeah, yeah. You see, a thing. twist the titty as hard as you can, slap it, you know, back, back, back. And it's like... It's like completely red, like rope. Yeah. Red and stuff like, like that. Christ, man. It's hard to watch. Yeah. There but was, it's the only thing that gets me <laughs> off, so... <laughs> I was listening to... I was driving, there was like a Triple J hack program on. It's just like the news program. They go in depth. Why was the Triple J presenters? <laughs> I was hacking the, up one of the Triple the two, J presenters. The, the two hacks. Um, <laughs> Uh, they were talking about, um, they had like a, a guest on and they were talking about like performing, what's it called? Like when you're hurting each other. Oh, BD, is that BDSM? Uh, I'm not sure if like, it's BDSM. I think there was even more of a broad kind of mm, word for it or whatever. Torturing. I think it's torturing. But even like hanging people up and shit like that doesn't necessarily have to hurt them, but it's just like a... They're into pain associated with pleasure. I suppose so. Yeah. Ropes and shit like that. And they were talking about like he... This dude, whoever he was, I think it was in Melbourne or something like that. Uh, he was talking about like classes so you could come and learn how to do that in a safe way. Because mm. at the end of the day, you don't want to be fucking permanently damaged from that shit and whatever. That's yeah. like skin where you the back, you kind of got the hooks through the skin in your back. Oof. Oh. Is that, is that oh. what it is? 
That's full on. Jesus. I don't Christ, think they were talking man. about hooks. They were talking specifically <laughs> about rope, kind of yeah, tying people just, up, masks, oh, and shit like. Ah, uh, something. I I think I reckon I know the name. Um, there was like a Japanese word for it, isn't it? Or for the tying someone up with a rope. Yeah, yeah. I I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Ah, uh, for there's like a whole, a whole you know, like art thing. So it's like how how, how should you tie it in like a, a pattern. You know, so what? You, yeah, sorry. How do you tie it and pattern? And then in, J- in Japan, I think you can tie the hole up and you hang up and you hang them up from the ceiling. They're literally floating on the ceiling. But That's what Japan are like into some interesting kinks, those blokes. Yeah, 100%. 100. And it's just. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I never want to go too far down there. Cause <laughs> that's why I don't want to visit Japan because I'm scared I might like it. Maybe it's like digging yeah. a hole in the ground. The further you get, you realize you can't get back up. You know, you just keep digging the same hole down further and further and further. And like, I'm, imagine being into that. And then that's the only way you could kind of get any kind of pleasure mm. in that way. Then you... Yeah. It's that um, Black Mirror episode with a guy who was got off to pain. And then he literally oh. has like surgery done on him to like yeah, remove yeah. his limbs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Pays, I think, a homeless guy to beat him oh, up. Oh, yeah. Something. I think we were talking about that. Uh, when he enjoyed pain, then he yeah. put, put the thing on people to feel their pain. Mm, mm. Yeah, that's fucked, eh? That was mm. full on. But I guess it's going further and further down that rabbit hole until he dies. Is that what happens in the episode? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't need to watch it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's... Um... But is there, is there like an end to, I guess, when you're into a specific kink where it go, we go too far? Imagine like just if you realise you were into it in that moment, you just finally come and then you're like, oh, fuck, now I'm suspended from the ceiling and I've only got nine toes. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole, um, what, David Carradine and... Uh, oh yeah Audio uh, erotic ex- Asphyxiation The guy from In Excess Is that what happened I think it's a It's rumoured that He was also into that I think I, I think Robin Williams Is like a bunch of people Robbie Williams Robin Williams Yeah Really I'm pretty sure Holy Robin shit Robin Williams a comedian Yeah I think Holy so Because he hung himself <laughs> And then they were all like I think it may have been Because he was wearing His wife's underwear When he was found. What? Really? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oi, I wish you kept that up because I bet you anyone that listens to that would have taken that. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. They'd be like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> I'm going to tell it. it straight. Sausage Boy fans are the best fans in the world. <laughs> I'm going to tell it straight. They are. Yeah, they're just good blokes. Yeah, but the thing is like... I'm going to tell that straight now back to being gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, know, you know what? And that's I, the only I, thing I'm going to be telling straight this episode. And outside of the episode, you know, I, what I want to know is like, what what caused that? What caused a person to to to, to like being tortured? You know, is is, is it because like ch- childhood trauma? I think thing? it's during your formative years where you certain things happen during your like sexual maturity, and that kind of um, basically sets out what you're going to be into. So they may have kind of. I guess experimented with that or stumbled across that at an early oh, age, okay. or like even like with the furry people. Like My Little Pony may have been on in the background when they were seventeen or during this really susceptible age. No, I think I think you either born born with like those things or you don't. It's like you know. It's like, you think it's like a what like, a like nature? Being gay, you know, you 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 either born you know like like being tortured or you don't. Because most of us, we I mean, look, I grow up. When I was 16, 17, I saw a lot of weird porn, but that doesn't make me want to go, you know, fucking uh, lick, put, lick my, uh, lick cum off my girlfriend pussy. No, it just, I think you're either born with it or you don't. It's, it's, I think it's like a defect in like a, a gene. You think, you think it's something that happens at birth. That yeah. Like, I guess when you're being molded as an individual, it's yeah, like yeah. Th- susceptible to be able to find pleasure from this thing. Yeah. I think it might be a mix of both. Mm. I think there's definitely like. <laughs> Uh, part of nurture in there that you kind of you may find pleasure associated with pain and mixed with f- stumbling across a certain video well, when you, know, you were we've 17 t- we've touched on two things we've touched on like the physical pain but we also talked about when you mentioned that video like that pain it does to your parents that cuckold, and they have to deal with that <laughs> that cuckold kind of pain um, weird, hey. the emotional kind of pain mm. people are attracted to both yes yeah, but things you know what like, I mean? There's yeah. two things out there, and then it's like, where does someone kind of 
pick up those tendencies. Yeah, but things like like you. It, what I meant by saying you born with it is like you grew up right, and you found that, and then you liked it. Yeah, you know, it's not like, but it was already written in the stars. Almost. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It's like a it's, bit of you was like, I'm going to like this. Yeah, this is but, gonna but, do it for yeah, me. This is what I've been looking for my whole life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we can see it, but we don't have the urge to do it. You know, that's yeah. a good point. They were so and like a switch, like bam, and they're like, that's why I like. You know? Yeah, and I guess yeah, so many people out there may stumble across My Little Pony and be like, that doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, but some people are like, huh. Well, what we're talking about, what do people like? I listen to, you know what I mean? You know, I listen to fucking this thing and I'm like, that slaps. Mm. This thing does not. But even when it comes to music, you know what I mean? Like Drake, for instance, one of the biggest artists in the world. Took me quite a while to get around that. For the longest time, I mean, being like 14, 15 year old, I was just like... Because you didn't know you were gay until you were, (laughs) what, 16? And then you started liking (laughs) an artist like Drake. (laughs) Yeah. It so uh, <laughs> that was the lowest point. <laughs> That's the lowest point we've had in Sausage Boys history. Is that yeah. <laughs> Jackson's coming out. I was gonna say that was the lowest point in my life. <laughs> but I remember, I remember a friend turning me onto it, um, and then it was like, <laughs> what turning? Yeah, you I know, I know. It. I was gonna go there yeah, as well, yeah, but nah. I was like, I'm not a hack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am. So. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> <laughs> my friend was turning me on to it. I was turned on when I saw that Drake, Jewish, African, American, no, no, Canadian. I was like, man. I was like, I was like, he's so many things, isn't he's he? He's so many things. Ooh, I think that's yeah. why he's got a beard. He's bald. <laughs> <laughs> everything Drake wait, has wait, you're talking, <laughs> you, imagine someone's like yeah I love Drake and it's just an artist like Common or something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know Drake with the nice uh, thin beard and, balls and really conscious guy Drake with I the cornrows really skinny looks like a dog always talking about <laughs> weed um, no but like when I remember my friend turning me on to um, on to Drake go on <laughs> <laughs> I remember <laughs> they like kind of mix uh, uh, opera with rock and yeah, very flamboyant frontmen. Yeah. The group Drake, I absolutely love them. How's when someone doesn't know a group or something like that? Or even an artist, you mentioned an artist name, they're like, yeah, I know them. Oh man, I love them. And you're like, it's a solo artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best thing. I, I remember even someone, I was like, oh yeah, do you like Rockhampton? He's like, yeah, no, I love him. I love him. He's, he's really cool. Love a lot of his songs. <laughs> I love Brock. Yeah, I love Brock. He's a great guy. I love Brock. He's my favorite Pokemon <laughs> character. Do you like Party Next Door? Yeah, they're great. Yeah, I really like them. Oh, no one's like favorite weekend. Pokemon character is Brock. <laughs> Brock? Brock, Brock was... Is, I love Brock. <laughs> Brock, was, Brock, was, Brock was a womanizer. <laughs> Brock was not a womanizer. He was a simp. <laughs> oh, he was, wasn't Ooh. he? Yeah. Really? Really, though? Brock was a was simp. But, uh, like... Uh, Getting back to that original point... Is Brock racist? Is he a racist <laughs> stereotype of a black man made, made so. by the anime? It's like, ooh, I love these white women. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at their hot eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I just well, can't get enough of these white women. Who was Brock meant to fall in love with? He was the only black character <laughs> on the whole car. <laughs> um, oh, no, Brock... But Imagine Brock- a cock-holding scene with, like, Ash... Um, who's the redhead girl that is like uh, Brock. Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> Brock having sex with Pikachu is uh, just in the corner. Oh man, Pika, 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 and then, <laughs> and then you see Ash like no, she's like covering his ears, just crying. <laughs> she's like in the, the corner crying. crying. Like, yes. That's the only thing that gets me off. Oh. <laughs> We could oh. turn a rabbit hole. Where, 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 where were we before that? Drake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was gay at sixteen. So when my friend turned me turned me on to Drake, I I've done it three times. Yeah, I just don't have a better way to phrase it. So when my friend um put me on to Drake, yeah. Um, <laughs> go on. <laughs> Good nothing. Grim's just snickering back at the at the back of the classroom like a fucking ten year old. <laughs> You know what? I love it. I love it. Is he put you on Drake's peg? Um, so I was listening to Drake Peg Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drake's peg. He put me on a Drake's peg. Uh, so, so did you enjoy it when you're on his peg? But uh, even like a, a song or an artist that you get turned on to, there's social circumstances that do that, right? 
You know what I mean? Like, it's not just innately that it slaps. There are social circumstances that do that to you. If Thanks. everyone in, if everyone around you says, this is so cool, and you're listening to it like as a group, and it's like everyone's vibing with it, and it's like, oh, yeah, it's so cool. I love this artist. Yeah, I never... So, like, what would it... T- Marilyn Manson, all right? What if you're into Marilyn mm. Manson, and you're growing up, and you're like, yeah, I'm hardcore, and that's how you identify, and you're like, I want to be more hardcore, I want to be more hardcore. So, subconsciously, you're like, I got to tie some bitch up. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a correlation between people into BDSM and into hardcore music. I think there would be emo music. I think there would be because you walk into like a piercing place, true, and that's the shit that they're playing. They're not playing like fucking Jack Johnson, are they? <laughs> Which they just were. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> they got fedoras on. <laughs> they got fedoras like and sandals. <laughs> But that is yeah. a real thing. Like, I guess um, enjoying something because a whole bunch of people around you also enjoy it or being pressured or coerced yeah. into enjoying something because you want to fit in. No, but 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 that... but that I don't think you know, for, like, King, that doesn't cross over to, like, high school because nobody in high school is pushing you to, like, fucking ponies, you know? What's to go with choking? I don't know. I mean, sometimes you just can't get the words out. <laughs> and you just have like a mind blank. Knees weak. Yeah. What's what is the go with choking? Why do why does that happen? I guess it's. Uh, I think for for women especially, they they just you know they like to be uh dominant. You know, because because they want a dominant man. Yeah, because if you think back in like back in the days, right? Like in 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 a. If you look at all the cave Wait, artworks, cave. it's like the caveman choking the cave woman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is like back in the days, man. As as yeah. an ape man, right? We the male used to be like fucking violent. That's right. They know? would smack the women yeah. over the head and take her. Yeah, literally. I think I think you would saw like somebody. The male would grab the female by the hair and just drag her. Mm. You know. I wonder yeah. if that's something that people can be into, like caveman play. Oh, I said it very at the beginning of this podcast. There's enough people in the world for it to be. I think everything's been done. Yeah, I think everything. Yeah. Every every. I've searched of- a few things on Google and nothing's come up. Caveman. Yeah, because they're illiterate, bro. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's my dyslexia. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um. Uh. You know what else? Actually, so I was reading an article by Mia Khalifa uh, <laughs> that couldn't understand a word. <laughs> if it's got these glasses We've got that dick in the mouth. <laughs> 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 just like a great writer. Really, really just has a gift of writing. She could very well be. Yeah. You read the article, didn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a simp, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, I read the article and um, so what it was kind of speaking about was like she was speaking about porn prostitution I kind of just went down this um, this uh, rabbit hole yeah so the only hole I went down that night speaking of furries <laughs> I kind of went down this rabbit hole and it was like all about like um, feminist views on prostitution <coughs> and kind of like where they kind of so it was saying there are two sects I, I realized, you know what's there? Are two sex, two genders. <laughs> <laughs> I've realized recently how much I say sex, and it doesn't help just with like I'm not sure if it's the accent or some shit, but like sex, I really have to pronounce the T. Sect. Sex. sex. Yeah, it's true, isn't it? To get it across. Sect. 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 Sex. Sipian. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so so like there's the two sects. Of feminism. And um And there's two genders. Get used to it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> What's that me that always goes around? <laughs> there's two genders, two this, two that, deal with it. What are you? Barbecue or tomato sauce? What are you? Barbecue or tomato sauce? <laughs> I-, I like mayonnaise. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so there's two sects. There's these two sects of feminism and it's like their views on uh like prostitution the first being that like so we talk about wap right it's a perfect example so 
this kind of thing is empowering, blah, 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 blah. It's kind of like, say like I can just use my body and my sexuality to kind of like gain advantage in this world. The other side is saying, well, no, that's actually not the case. Excuse me. So it's more like you're being kind of subjected to the world as it is and you're being abused for your sexuality or whatever. Interesting. I just found that a very yeah. interesting thing because it's like there are... It's that whole take where it's like, oh, look at Lauren Hill. She was able to become big and successful just because of her talent and she did never had to expose herself or sexualize herself. Mm. And there's that whole kind of take yeah. and that uh, looking way of looking at it. And then because she like, navigated kind of that thing, mm. but I'm sure if you were to look at the rest of the charts around that time, especially in hip hop, she would be the exception for sure. Yeah, she'll be such an exception in that case. Uh, yeah, and then when it comes to that, like, is it? Yeah, I don't know. You have this massive division. It's like, all right, they're both kind of valid points, but at the end of the day, like. Everyone kind of comes into this world and plays their strengths. The system is fucked. Let's agree on that. Yeah. It's not fair, but like you can play towards your strengths kind of thing. Everyone can kind of play towards their strengths. I guess if it, like for the, an R&B singer, it was always um, more profitable if they had their album cover or music video shirtless. Like you think of a Trey songs or you think of a D'Angelo. Were they taken advantage of? Or were they kind of showing some sort of sexual empowerment? And I guess it's the same. It's the same with women. Uh, an artist like Nicki Minaj, yeah, who's very prone to putting her, basically selling her body, and what she looks like physically. It's interesting because it's like, all right, can I use all my strengths, all my God-given strengths, as I come into this world? And then why does that even get? Why is there a persecution about that, or some kind of why? You know what I mean? Like why? Why are they getting persecuted for that? I think it's the whole idea of kind of they are using these things, using their um, the way they look to make up for their lack of talent. Well, I don't it's... think there's usually someone out there who's extremely talented and extremely out there exposing themselves or selling but, themselves. But, 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 but the thing is, man, that is also, you know, work, uh, work on your strength as well. For somebody, the strength is the yeah. mental ability, yeah. but for somebody, it's the physical, uh, you know what I mean? So... For for the longest time ever, right? We, we used to say the man is 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 the strength and the woman is, and the beauty. Yeah, so I, I don't see that's the, true. I don't see anything wrong with you know a woman you know using her body as you know uh, as 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 an uh, what do you call it? A way. It's like a selling ahead. point. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it sex sells yeah. and being good looking and. Yeah. appealing sales and people want to click on it and look at it yeah well yeah. like you you don't want to be looking at a, you watch a movie that goes for two hours you don't want the main person to necessarily be ugly way ugly yeah you don't yeah. want it to be ugly yeah but I think that's the big thing about a lot of British TV shows is they tend to have really unattractive looking leads and characters and I think that's almost like uh, it's, a, it's it's somewhat of a, a sign of class where they don't have these this perfect looking lighting or these beautiful looking models playing a detective. That's true. Maybe people are becoming more wise to that. And in comedy, I think that's a big kind of thing. That's a big thing in comedy because it's like, it, it kind of adds to the funny in a certain way and it's like respectable and rah, 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 rah. Mm. Whereas when it comes to music, for instance, it's so... Because it's about the audio file and then we're also going to put this little bit of promo with it, which is the video. Yeah. yeah but How do we make like, that more yeah. attractive? Yeah, but things like, man, like, um, I remember talking to this girl before, right? So she was talking about, ah, oh, you know, I'm a bit off slur, this, you know, sleep, like, hey man, like, queen bees, you know I mean? If you talk about bees, right? The queen literally yeah. do nothing but fucking, you know, she, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> every fucking guy, in the fucking hole, you know, in the in the hives, like, yeah. <laughs> and I respected that. Yeah, and 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 and, and bro, all the uh, uh, male bees fucking love that shit. Like, they they look look up to her. Hmm. You know, so why why does it you know have to be like I said, like, oh, you are a woman, you are not supposed just because man cannot get that amount of sex, you know, so yeah. so so easily. Hmm. So man make up the standards for woman, like you shouldn't be getting that so easily. But, but that at the end of the day, man, when there is 
I demand, you know, you are There's free a supply. to Yeah, yeah. Th- you are free to supply. It's just basic economics, boys. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So yeah, don't I I, I don't think there's no wrong or right in this bro, right? People can look like, oh, she used her, uh, her uh, sex sales, but there's nothing wrong with that. She can sell that because she, she can. She has it. She's got it. So what yeah. if you got it, flaunt it yeah, so, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. so w- what do you have, you know? And I guess it's usually ugly A people. Bank <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A bank account. And you can flaunt like a Jay-Z. Yeah, Exactly. Jay-Z doesn't need to be pretty. You know what yeah, I was, he doesn't. Uh, I was thinking about today. Imagine if Jay-Z was a normal person. You know what I mean? If he wasn't super rich. And he would be like... A crip. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I almost think he would be just as powerful. I think a guy like Jay-Z, a guy who I guess was born semi-unattractive, would have to, out yeah, of nature, true, true. be able to uh, excel in certain areas That's like he I'm might saying, be very yeah. charming true, true, true. and smooth yeah and i think he would be a successful guy with the ladies regardless true. that's what i'm saying he'd either have to be what he is now mm. or it'd be like he either has to be what he is and like excelling or he'd just be the bottom of the barrel true he'd just be that's like, true or just giving up <laughs> yeah giving up mm. but I, I can imagine a guy like jay-z out there without the fame or level of success but a more uh, balanced or average levels of success getting a Beyonce because of his charm and because of his charisma and mm, okay. the things that make up for the looks yeah yeah but yeah, I think that okay. goes a long way I, I, I think like for 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 you know like finding the Jay-Z album four, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> but like finding a partner right for a male right we we we, we want something this somebody to take care of the family yeah man yes are, man i'm bad at that shit man <laughs> just bro imagine if that kid was alive two days before he died <laughs> <laughs> like all all the dads that i see you know watching the kids <laughs> they're doing the worst job job ever but the woman they just naturally it beca- know, it, yeah, yeah it comes yeah. more natural yeah, it? And, yeah. and for the woman to to find a partner in a man you know they they want safety so Jay Z doesn't need to be, you know, that 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 successful. But as long as she make Beyonce feel safe, yeah, you know? yeah, and that's that's a big thing. Because bro, 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 I'm not. Uh, <coughs> I have a cousin, right? She's beautiful. She's man. She's successful. She's like. She's like a, a man. She's just the. She's just like my dream woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I could just have w- one night, is all I want. <laughs> but bro, but the, but <laughs> Give me one night. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? My, my cousin, she's like beautiful. She's she's like a manager of a restaurant, right? She's very yeah. successful. She's making tons of money, and her husband. Big, go get her. <laughs> but, <laughs> big. But the thing is, like, man, her husband is fucking ugly, mm. and and he doesn't have any money as well. He's a teacher. He's a high school teacher, and she's fucking drive a Merc. She fucking bought. She was the one who paid for everything, the house, the cars, shit. But he he took care of the kids really well. He's got that natural maternal yeah. instincts. I was working with a dude, and it was the same thing. His wife was a doctor, right? And this guy is just this working. guy's just hot. Um. <laughs> He was all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, he was just like working part time. And the thing was like, he was just like, yeah, I'm just a stay at home dad. And he was just so proud to say that as well. And I was just like, almost respected it in a way. I was just like, that's so kind of, yeah. I was like, that's really cool. And like, I mean, how proud he kind of was of his situation, even though it wasn't the, stereotypical mm, yeah. kind of situation. That's been my goal for the longest period of time <laughs> is to be a stay-at-home dad. Yeah. Straight up. 100%. I think that would be the life. Are you being for real? I'm being 100% for real. Are you being for real? I'm being for real, real for real. real. For like the wow. longest time. Probably Are you being since for real, was, for real, for real? Being for real, for real? For real, for real. Yeah, but for, for real, real, for real? For real, for real. Yo, but for real, for real? For real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to be a stay-at-home dad. Really? It maybe changed in the last few years a little bit more. I That's kind of interesting. Had some That's interesting. But that was always my goal. I was like, oh, yeah, let's marry a rich woman and I'm going to be a great father. Because I think that's the big thing with me is I know I'd be the best father out there. Mm, I'll wow. be having fun, playing games, 
go into the gym a little bit, Mental chilly. Games. <laughs> <laughs> Mental games with my children, pinning them against each other. Just um, like a yo-yo, tying them up. <laughs> <laughs> Doing like walk the dog around their head. <laughs> Got like the zapping thing, the big Sora, that Pornhub video. Um, oh, yeah. That, that's cool, bro. That's, that's, that's cool, you know? But I think, it's, uh, I think it's something in me as well. I think I probably have more of a maternal um, nature. Mm. But then what if you're with a very mater- maternal woman? I think that would still be great. I think we'll both just have That's that. what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then even more so like... They just have know, maybe yeah, more Maybe the goal love. is a 50-50... But usually it's not the case. I think most men out there don't really have much um, uh, maternal nature. Actually, actually, man, um, mm. I think this, right? So in order to raise a family, right? You need at least one person to have that, 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 that nurture. You know, mm. that, that, that nurturing uh, nature in, in 100%. them. It's either the wife or the husband or both. Both, if both of them have it, it's great. I know a lot of uh, uh, couples are like that. Both of them are great. They're not successful. They're not like big names, making a lot of money. They're just doing normal jobs, you know. But they are great parents, you know. And that's, that works in, in terms of raising a family. But if you look at like uh, a, a lot of successful, like rich family, right? yeah. the parents are not the best they're just out there living yeah. their lives being and, career and the, driven yeah. and the kids are at home and, and the they, kids yeah. will grow up with tons of problems you know they usually like end up getting addicted to drugs yeah develop i guess extreme depression or usually end up killing themselves yeah just because man if you think about it man when a kid growing up right when they are little all they all all that they have like as a reference point is yeah. the parents as mm. i mean for for us right all that we have is a reference point how to talk how to walk how to act come from our parents yeah but if your parents are always away you know they don't pay much attention then if you've got some yeah. J- jamaican nanny who's like <laughs> extremely homophobic i think that's what drake <laughs> drake did drake had <laughs> he's got like ting, my ting huh? my ting you know <laughs> we don't deal with them batty boys around here <laughs> like that like that we stomp on the chichi man. Is <laughs> <laughs> so some Indonesian, like 14-year-old girl? Stop on chichi man. <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> but that is the thing. Yeah, you usually do mimic whoever you're around. And it's always the case of uh, the two parents who don't necessarily have the most, but they're there to love their kids yeah. and are having great kids. Bro, and and the really right. rich, yeah. successful parents that may have like the, the biggest mansion, like a handful of nannies for their kids. Yeah. Those kids always turn up messed up. Yeah. Always. <laughs> turn up <laughs> on the shore. <laughs> <laughs> all messed up. <laughs> turn up at Michael Jackson house. In all kinds <laughs> of crazy ways. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, I think that might be time, boys. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Today we talk about some deep stuff, huh? Went deep. Yeah. I'm yeah. so keen to go to some stores and listen back to this episode. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that's been the Sausage Boys, guys, for another yes, week. Oh, that's good. We got K Dot. Yo. Yep. We got Big Vu. Yep. Yep. And I'm Jackson. And as always, we're sponsored by cigarettes. Cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes. Fact. <laughs> what that's what they're called how is i'm not even game like i wouldn't even i wouldn't even i think we've mentioned this i wouldn't even say the word no nah, i wouldn't even it yeah. wouldn't come out of my lips what I'm if really? what if a british guy you started hanging around british people yeah so is it right can i have uh can i get a fag well, i think it works fag, it? i think if you say with well, the then british I'd have accent sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it guys That's the song Done for another week Cigarettes Cigarettes wise <laughs>